in this video, I am going to explain some of the things that will be in your art kit and also how to get these things if you decide not to purchase an art kit from the art department. The art kit from the art department is a really good option for you because not only does it keep your parents from having to run around and try to figure out where to get these things, we buy these in bulk from a website called Dick Blick. And since we buy more than one of everything, we sometimes get a special price on it. So it ends up being a little cheaper than if you were to go online and buy one of everything yourself. One thing though that you could do if you wanted to save money is find somebody who had had art in years past and see if you could borrow their kit or maybe even buy their kit from them instead of buying new supplies. Um, if you had a brother or sister who had your art in years past, the kits don't change very much from year to year. So you could save a lot of money by getting a kit that is gently used and or just adding some of the things that are missing to it on your own. Um, but this is the kit for this year. Uh, also, Wall doesn't make any money off of these kits. Our goal with these is just to get you your art supplies um, in the least expensive way possible and help you out as much as we can. Um, the first thing on your list is the Prismacolor colored pencils. Uh, these are artist grade colored pencils. It's really important to get artist grade colored pencils for this class because the techniques we're gonna be showing you, you won't be able to achieve with uh, less expensive Crayola or Rose Art or some of the student grade colored pencils that are out there. Um, these will blend and smooth together really well and give you a really nice finish. The colors are really bright. They're also opaque, which means you can draw on brown or black paper and the colors still show up. All these things are gonna be important when we start working with our colored pencil projects. This year, we're probably going to be doing more colored pencils than usual, just because it may be hard if y'all are at home at some point to do some of our other projects that we normally do. Um, Sometimes in years past, we would also low have a class set of colored pencils that you could borrow while you're in class and leave there. And that may not be an option this year either because it could be really hard to sanitize those between classes and things like that. So the best thing for you to do is just to have this art set um, keep it with you all the time just in case we get sent home. Our projects that we put in online will also be using these supplies. So if you have this art kit, then you're going to be set whether you're coming to class or you are at home at some point. The next thing on the list is something to keep your supplies in. With the kit, you're going to get a small bag for your drawing supplies and a bigger bag for the other supplies and to keep your folder in. Anything that you feel like would make it easy to keep your stuff together in your backpack will work. You could even use a Ziploc baggie if that's what you would like to do. Um, you just may have to plan on replacing it throughout the year. If you choose that option, they'll wear out pretty fast. Uh, in years past, we sometimes would allow students to bring a shoebox type Tupperware to class. That We're not gonna be able to do that this year because of um, all the things that are going on. So please don't plan on bringing a box and leaving it somewhere in the room or in your locker. We're not really sure how that situation is going to work out. Plan on putting your supplies in something that you can carry around in your backpack. Um, so in your small pouch of drawing supplies, the first thing on your list is the Zig Millennium Marker uh, Felt Tip Pen. Um, this is an 08. Your kit is gonna come with an 05. There's all different sizes, and the sizes go with the size of the tip. Um, you might like to have a bigger set of several different sizes. You can do different things with the different sizes, but all we're requiring you to have is the one um, pin that comes in the kit. You're gonna use these on several projects that we do with pen and ink, and also you might wanna use it when you're doing your sketches in your sketchbook. Next thing on your list is this General's layout pencil. This is equivalent to a 6B drawing pencil. You're going to use this on a lot of your pencil drawings. This is a really good pencil because the graphite is very 
opaque. It's not as shiny as, you know, a regular number two graphite. And that's going to be really important when you start drawing. It just makes your drawings look really dark and gives you the dark values in the places where you want the dark values. Not a shimmery, shiny black. That will um, make your drawings look weird when you look at them, you know, from an angle or in the light. The next thing on your list is a kneaded eraser. These are kind of squishy, you can see. You're gonna use these um, for some of your drawing techniques to pull your graphite back up. You will need a gum eraser, which looks like this. Um, these are easy to find at Walmart in either the school supply section or the craft section. Most of these things can be found at Walmart in the craft section. Um, kind of going back to the colored pencils. This set of colored pencils is actually from Sam's. So if you just need the colored pencils, you can go to Sam's and get this set for $20. They're a little more at Walmart. In fact, the set of 24 is almost as much at Walmart as the set of 36. So if you're not getting them from the art art department, just be sure that you look at prices and make sure you're getting the best price if you're buying them on your own. The next thing on your list is this stick eraser. Um, this is a Tombow mono eraser. It has a very small tip. These are gonna be really handy for you pulling out highlights and things when we start doing your drawings. Um, oh, I forgot the 6H drawing pencil. So you're getting two drawing pencils. This is a 6B, this is a 6H. So these are, this is a really light pencil and a really dark pencil. So you're getting two pencils at opposite ends of the spectrum. You will also get in your kit a regular number two drawing pencil to use. So, um, you know, you can get drawing pencils in really large sets that come in 12, 24, even um, different grades of drawing pencils. But for this class, three will be plenty. You're more than welcome to get the bigger set if you would like. Um, next thing is a stump. It looks like this. It looks like just rolled up paper with a pointy end. This is gonna be used when we start shading with your drawing pencils. You can also, um, we're gonna include a Q-tip and a cotton ball in your kit. Um, we'll have these to give to you in class if you end up not purchasing a kit, but those will be two other things you're gonna to wanna to keep in there with all your drawing supplies. The last thing that goes in your drawing supplies is a handheld, or sharpener of some sort. This is gonna be really good for your colored pencils as well as your drawing pencils. The next thing is in this bigger bag, you're going to need a pair of scissors, a ruler, make sure that you get a um, straight and not one of those flexible plastic bendy rulers because you're going to be mainly using this to draw straight lines. So those plastic rulers that bend um, will not be good for drawing straight lines. You also need a glue stick. This is a Yoohoo brand glue stick. We found this brand is really good about um, sticking your stuff really well and keeping it stuck, not having things fall apart as they dry. So. Um, if you are getting this on your own, at least look for a craft strength glue stick if you can't find this brand rather than getting one of the cheap school glue type glue sticks. The last thing is a folder. We are actually gonna provide this for you whether you get a kit or not because we are going to fill it with all of the worksheets and things that you will need for the first semester. That way, if we end up not being at school for some reason, you will already have all of your stuff ready to go and in here. And again, if you have any questions or problems finding any of these things or purchasing a kit, please ask and we will be happy to work something out and help you out with that.